Currently ranked 60th in the world, the Ghana Black Stars are the lowest ranked team attending this year's FIFA World Cup happening in Qatar in November of 2022. Now, with that distinction, many people are looking at Ghana and describing them based off their form as the weakest team there. Now, since Ghana qualified, drawing away in Nigeria 1-1 to get the aggregate point to go on to the World Cup, there's been a lot of talk about potential players who could come in and represent the Black Stars. We've seen and heard names from Callum hudson Adoy to Tariq Lamti to Inaki and Nico Williams. But the question is, will all those players play a role? And will adding them, if not others, truly be able to push Ghana over the edge to get out of the group stage and into the round of 16? In our series looking at African squads, we're going to start off with Ghana, as I am from there. We want to look at different position groups and what they could do with them. We're, we're going to look at the strikers, we'll look at wingers, we'll look at midfielders, we'll look at defenders, and then we'll also look at goalies. And we'll try to do this with all the African squads here. If you're new to the channel, we do do primarily Canadian content. We do focus on Africans because we wouldn't be the Africans if we didn't do so as well as club football, as well as other conversations. If you like the content you're hearing, please give us a subscribe. Leave us a comment on players maybe that we've missed, but then also let us know who you think could help the Ghana Black Stars currently. So it's important if we look at the Black Stars, we look at the last squad that they brought in for World Cup qualifiers. I think it's a fair basis to start with. We can look at the players that they brought in, but we, let's look at the last squad that was brought. So the first thing, we'll look at the strikers that were brought in. The four strikers that were brought into the squad were Felix Afinagian, who plays at Roma in Italy, Syria. We have Kwesi Antwi Adje, who's at Bochum, VV, VFL Bochum. We have Jordan Ayu, who's playing as Crystal Palace. And then Kwesi Ret who's at Hosten Kit, who's in Hosten Kiel in Germany. Now, the name that stood out for most Ghanaians, and myself included, was the, finally the inclusion of Felix Afinagian. Now, this young striker playing at Roma was, is able to get some playing time in a club with Jose Mourinho. Now, being a young player to get playing time is not an easy choice, but he is able to break through being able, in his highlight, be able to score two goals in a match earlier this year. Now, those are the only two goals he has been able to score. But he is seen and looked upon by many in Ghana as perhaps the future of the position. Now, at 19 years old, he is a player who looked his age against Nigeria. He had moments where he was controlling, laying ball off for shots, and having decent runs. And other times, he just looked like he was overmatched, looked like he was getting pushed around a bit. And again, he's 19. There's nothing that we can really do or worry about. He will grow into that, and his time will come. When we look at a player such as a Kwesi, who's playing at Holstein Kiel, he was able to come in for a substitute time. He came in after in the first game. He's definitely a center forward striker. He has played U20 for Ghana before. At age 27, he's certainly entering his prime and definitely has some positional flexibility he can give. His size, standing at one meter and 88 centimeters, definitely good to play for deep balls and set pieces as well. So far in 11 appearances, he has three goals. Now, the name that we are wondering why is he being included as a striker, Jordan Ayu, the Crystal Palace forward, um, has had a struggling year this year. However, he was able, he had scored two goals this year in the Premier League, and many people point to his metrics as the reasons why he should be included 
Now, others may say it's just his name, but his defensive work rate and his ability to cross definitely give him an advantage for the 30-year-old to be part of the team. So far this year, again, he's been able to put in two goals and three assists in 27 appearances overall. He's been typically played as a left or right winger, though it is listed on his transfer market. He is a center forward. Now, the final forward that was brought in, who was named that we were somewhat intrigued to see, was Christopher Antwi Ajie. Now, Christopher plays primarily as a left winger and VFL Bochum in the German league. And what's important to note is, though he is listed as a striker, he is more of a winger slash midfielder in terms of play. He had previously beforehand one debut with the Black Stars in 2019 and was recently called back to the program. Now, the main reason why we're looking at this position first is because, for the most part, that's where I think most of the questions come through for Ghana. If Ghana is able to actually get any production from their striker position, it bodes well for them, not only in the World Cup, but in following tournaments such as AFCON happening the following year, and it really does help their chances to move. Now, there are big names that have been floated around. We have Inaki Williams, who has come in. Um, he, Ghanaian parents, however, has played for Spain, but hasn't been called up to their squad in a while. And I think the lack of call up and Spain's different direction does open the door for not only Inaki, but his brother Nico to come and represent Ghana, the country of the parents. Now, there have been stories um, about reasons as to why they did not want to go in. Now, these have come from people who have stated they've spoken with parents. We're not going to get into them. But they are certainly names to keep an eye on. Now, a name like Inaki Williams is definitely one who would be an immediate upgrade in the position. There's no doubt about that. What he's been able to do with a top squad in Bilbao and be able to be a constant and a consistent contributor definitely would help in bringing a player into that pool. Now, another name that was not mentioned them. So, we've spoken about the Williams brothers. Another interesting name that was brought up was one of Eddie Inketia, who is currently at Arsenal. Teammates with Thomas Partey. Now, Eddie, born in England, has played youth ball for England Started in the Chelsea Academy, he's moved away. Now he's at Arsenal, trying to break through to the first team. It's a tough team, but a young squad to come in. However, at 22 years of age, a little bit more diminutive, 175 for his height. As a center forward, he certainly does have the a chance to really be a very good player for himself. And I think he himself would upgrade the position as well. There's no doubt about that. So far in the season, he has one assist in the Premier League, made an appearance in the FA Cup, and it has five goals in the Carabao Cup. Though he is right-footed, can play on either winger, so you do have that flexibility. He is definitely a player who would upgrade. And I think not that he is an easier get, but he of the names that we're looking at are definitely names that we look at and say, yeah, perhaps he has a chance. I think, however, the name that some of us are overlooking is a name also in England, but it's a little bit further down in terms of leagues. Name Antoine Semenyo, 2000 born, currently playing at Bristol City in the championship. He was a name that was rumored to be coming into the squad. However, an injury late in the season took away his chance to represent Ghana in the two matchups against Nigeria. And I think Semenyo definitely 
is a player that gets lost in a shuffle of big names and players that could come in and do something. A striker who can also play on the wings. This season, he has definitely been able to show well. In the championship, he has six goals and nine assists in 27 appearances. In the FA Cup, one appearance only. Has picked up yellow cards. There's no doubt about it. However, a player like him, I think, is closer to the front than we might realize with other players potentially coming in. And I think a player like Antoine Semenyo, who definitely has the pace to attack and has the eye to finish as well as set up for teammates with wingers, and we're getting ahead of ourselves, but with wingers the likes of Kamaldin Suleiman, Joseph Pansel, Mohamed Kadus in the midfield. And if you wanted to throw in either Andre or Jordan Ayew on the wingers or in that midfield, having a striker who not only can create for others, but can also finish himself, adds to the balance of attack there. All those names brought up, I think Semenyo is definitely a name to watch out for. So if I were Otto Ado and I was charged with bringing in strikers into the squad, it would probably make more sense to go with 23. But for the sake, we're going to go with 26. And look at the strikers that we have here. I think you definitely need to have some flexibility. However, with the ability of some players, and yes, those being the AU brothers, to be able to play up top as strikers, more so Andre than Jordan, I think we can still bring four, but still not be afraid to have other players come in as well. So with that being the case, I'm looking at my through. So those are my four strikers. Again, Felix Afinijan, Antoine Semenyo, Eddie Nketiah and Inaki Williams. What do you think about those strikers? Do you think we should have more? Do you think someone is getting snubbed? Who do you think should be the four strikers for this squad? Let me know in the comments below, guys. We're going to continue this every Monday. We might even get some help for some of these Ghanaian squads and other African squads as well. If you have any recommendations, let me know. Let us know. And we'll go from there. But this is a question from the African saying, so long for 